plug the power cord into the back of the printer. Your new printer can be connected via a wired network cable or with a USB cable. In this video, we'll be setting up the machine via a network cable. Remove the storage plug from the network input port. Push the network cable into the network connector until you hear an audible click. Power on the printer by pressing the power button located at the lower front area of the unit. Now allow the machine to run its startup sequence. The startup may take up to 10 minutes to complete, so please be patient. Press the language you will be using. In our example, we are using English. Select Next. We will now see the message, is this device managed by administrator? The options are no home or small office or yes, medium or large offices. Choosing yes for medium and large offices means you must enter an ID and password when setting certain printer functions. The no home or small office selection does not use the ID password function. If you are in a home office or the only user of this printer, we recommend the no home option. Select the No Home or Small Office option. The screen will automatically change to a machine setup procedure. The options are date slash time with welcome, set time, zone, date and time, and it will offer you the option of skipping this procedure to a later time. In this example, we are going to go through the options. Press the Go to Settings button. The screen will show the time zones available. Scroll up or down to find the time zone where your machine will be located. In this example, we will find and select Central Time, U.S. and Canada. The next screen will ask, do we want summertime on or off? We will select on. This will set the machine to areas that use daylight savings time. The display will now allow us to see the year, month, and day. Be sure that it is correct and press on the Next button. We will select Go to Settings and select Next select Go to Settings and press on the Next button. Select Go to Settings and select Next. Press Skip. Now it is time to set up our wired network. Select Go to Settings, press On Wired Network. The display will be giving us an option of using DHCP. Assure that On is highlighted and select Next. The MA2600 CWFX is now set up on the wired network. Select Finish button. The display will now show Completed and ask if we want to print a status page. Go ahead and select Print. Once the printer has completed the toner procedure, it will then automatically print a status page. The display will now say Accepted and return to the Home page. The machine may still be performing the startup sequence of adding toner for the first time and will print that status page upon completion of this procedure. For now, add paper to the cassette so that when the printer is ready, it can automatically print that status page. For more detailed information on adding paper to the cassette, please watch the MA2600 CWFX Add Paper to Cassette video and learn how to add specific paper types. The machine is now ready to print. You have now completed the initial process for setting up the printer on a wired network.